All right, a bad experience at the hair salon can really be scary for anyone. Absolutely. But there's one barber in Meriden who has made a real difference in making his chair a safe space for everyone. Soon others may follow his lead. Channel 3's Olivia Schuler explains how. Take a look. Sitting still in a salon chair can be a tricky task for any six-year-old. But for Nate, it comes with more challenges. Hairdressers weren't trained um, to deal with kids with sensory issues, so it was always a battle. It usually ended up um, with us leaving with half a haircut or no haircut and tears. Nate's mom says he has moderate autism and is nonverbal. Getting a haircut was once a nightmare experience. Nate has definitely gotten a lot better throughout the years. Now, the sound of scissors and a buzzer aren't so scary. That's because Nate's mom found New Style Hair Studio through Facebook. Made a post, um, just kind of a plea. I need help. I need somebody who knows how to cut hair and deal with kids with sensory issues. Multiple people recommending Eddie Rivera's shop. When I started doing this, um, I started realizing there's a lot of kids with, with, you know, a lot of kids with special needs are coming in, especially with autism and I got a big heart. After nearly a decade, Rivera started to see a need within the cosmetology business. I realized we never really learned how to accommodate someone with special needs in barbering school or cosmetology school. In the last three years, Rivera has designed an online special needs barbering training. Getting to know them, you know, getting to know what they like, what they don't like. Some kids don't like the cape. An online course isn't the end goal for Rivera. Him and his wife, who is a social worker, want to combine their expertise to create something much bigger. Get this going through legislation to make it part of the barbering cosmetology curriculum. All it took was a big heart behind a pair of scissors. I have people driving from New York City, upstate New York, Boston. I think in life, your goal should be to leave it better than you found it. In Meriden, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.